Hey, everybody. Richard Bliss Brook here with yet another global influencer podcast interview. And I've got a couple of winners with me today. <laughs> Two of my favorite people in the world. Influencer doesn't do them justice. These are core, soul, inspiring leaders. These are the founders and the authors of ULA themselves, David Braun and Troy Amdahl, a couple of chiropractors from North Dakota and Minnesota who just decided to pivot. And they are at the uh, ground zero of a global movement on um, living a life of ULA, which <laughs> when I first heard the name of that book, I said, well, that's about the smartest thing anybody ever done come up with a name nobody's ever heard of before and define your own success philosophy. And these guys are on a tremendous role, inspiring people to find their ULA, which is kind of like finding your bliss, but different. <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, David and Troy. How you doing? Hey, man. These guys are the real deal. They are just so authentic. We're going to learn a little bit about what they're doing today and what they're doing in their lives. But um, so I don't know, audience, if you haven't read the book, Ula, uh, you got to you got to get it. And I suppose you could go to Ula dot com, right? Double O L A dot com. You guys own that domain or do I need to buy it and sell it to you? So someone someone had that, some cooking something or another. I, go to ulalife.com and you'll find all kinds of cool things. <laughs> okay, go to ulalife.com and, or Amazon and dig into ULA. So I'm going to let these guys tell you about what ULA is all about. Uh, but first, I want them to tell... <laughs> Because they have a dance, you know, when there's two guys that are in business like this and they're co-creators, they have to dance in the story with each other, but they do it beautifully. Would you tell the audience, um, who were you and where were you and what you were doing right before ULA? <laughs> well, that, that's, that's going to start at the, the, the low spot of my life, Richard, but we'll go with it anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I, I'm going to, not right before ULA, but I'll go back one more step. I actually met Dr. Troy in 1997. He taught me about ULA, this concept of balancing your life in seven areas. And he knew, he said, you're going to focus on business and money. I know how your brain is wired, but it's really important to focus on all seven areas. It's important to focus on your family, your fitness, your faith, having fun in life, all of those areas. So I met him in 1997, learned ULA, followed ULA, became successful and then when, right before ULA started is right when I was losing everything. So Dr. Troy was retiring at that time, married 20 some years, retiring house in Arizona, house in Minnesota, house in Thailand, house in Panama, like living his life, great kids, great family, running Ironman. And at that exact same time, right before ULA started, I was actually at the bottom. I was going through a divorce, losing everything, 2007, 8, 9, um, you know, living in a motel on the bad side of town, like it was down and out. And I reached out to Dr. Troy and he just said, you got to get your ULA back, man. Like you got to start working on getting your ULA back. And I said, at that time, if I get my ULA back, I'm going to share this with the world. And then he made fun of me and he goes, well, first get a job and maybe get a car that runs and, you know, get your, you know, pull it together, bro. And then we'll talk about changing the world. And 2012, my life wasn't all the way blissful. I wasn't living the ULA life or the bliss life at that moment. Um, but I reached out to him. We were hanging out at his cabin, actually, right where he is sitting right now. And uh, he uh, he said, dude, you said you're going to share this with the world. And I said, yeah, I know, but I'm not there yet. I'm not, I don't have the Ferrari. I don't have everything put back together. And he goes, dude, it's not 1980. You know, it's not fake until you make it. It's like being transparent with where you are. So he said, let's just outline this process of ULA about balancing your life in seven key areas, the three simple steps. Let's talk about the things that get in the way that took you from when you're knocking out of the park to when you're down and out in a motel. And let's talk about the things called accelerators that can get you there faster. And we outline it literally in the seat he is sitting in. Um, we outline the book and that's where I was. So where was I when Ula first became a book? I was going between a minivan and a Land Rover, uh, late model Land Rover, nothing cool, late model Land Rover. And I was going from a two bedroom apartment to a condo. 
uh, that's where I was. And I told that story and, and I was embarrassed to tell it because I wanted to tell the story of when you're at the top, you know, when you're living this amazing life. And my story was more like I had it, I lost it. Now I'm getting it back and I'm working my butt off to get there. And this is how we're going to do it. That's where I was at that time. Yeah, it's interesting you asked that. It's interesting as you asked that question because as you said that Dave was at the bottom. I think, hey, I was at the top. <laughs> I, I, before Ula, before Ula, I had uh, retired debt free at forty two, and I had been goal setting since high school, and had big dreams and big visions. I saw my dad working three jobs to provide for four kids, and I said, "There's got to be another way. Like, there's got to be another." Because I just wanted time with my dad, so. I remember setting a goal in 11th grade to be debt free and retired. I didn't even hardly know what that meant. I hadn't even made a dollar yet. And I wanted to be, I haven't even gone into the workforce and already wanted to be out of the workforce because I saw what that was doing to people, grabbing a lunch bucket every morning, going to a job just to grind it out, to put food on the table and coming home and doing that day in and day out and calling that a life. And I just knew I wanted to do it differently. And um, it took me until 42. But what had happened is I was retired and fully like checked out, had, had followed the framework that we teach now to find my ULA life. And then um, Dave called me. We were, we were buddies. Um, he was an intern. You mentioned we were chiropractors. I had interns rotating through my office. And I, it was just like, I, lo- I thought it's free labor. So I was just like, I have these young people coming in just wanting to work and learn. I'm like, you want to come work for free, man? Come, have at it. Come on in. But there were a few people that came in that just had something special, like a, like a spark, like a charisma, like a talent, like a drive. And, and he and I connected at that level of, of big thinkers, big dreamers. And um, so I pulled him in to this small group of guys and we used to go to Vegas once a year. And we sat at the, we go to the, we went to the hard rock every year. It's always the first weekend of December. And we had these little three by five recipe cards, note cards, and we put them in seven stacks and we goofed around in the evening and did some fun stuff. But during the day it was serious. It was like, where am I in these seven key areas of life in this moment? Like an honest assessment, not like lying to yourself. You know, it's like, no, really, where am I in my business? Where am I in my relationship, my marriage with my kids? Where am I with um, everything, all the key areas? Am I having fun in life? Do I have a faith walk? I mean, the big stuff, where do I want to go? And then we would map out a course over the next 365 days to keep each other accountable to the dreams and goals that were unique to our heart and calling. And this is how we define success. So the culture we believe the culture is defining success even today, even more so today by the job you have and the amount of money you have. And you can have a, you can be rich in money. You can have an amazing title, but if it, you know, it's more than that. It's rich in relationship. It's rich in purpose. It's rich in drive. Um, it's rich in all, you know, just daily joy rather than deferring joy until 65 until you no longer know what fun is anymore. So then, um, he called me at just before this. That's how this all started. So this is never, we do so many interviews and it's like everyone's impressed with the movement that is ULA. And it looks like this, it looks like this really intelligent marketing plan. And it's not, it's two guys who are passionate about sharing their heart on a framework that changed our lives. And then we found that when we shared it, it changed the lives of those we shared it with. So it, that's, he said, Hey, we need to, I told him just when he called me, I, my image of Dave, because what happened was, is he went and built a family and built a business. And that's how it happens. You know, you don't talk to, you just get distance. I went overseas to do some international business things. He went to build a practice and a family and I would get a Christmas card once a year. And every year there's a new kid and it looks like a nicer fireplace and it looks like better clothes. So in my mind, like, Hey, Dave's good. So when all of a sudden I get a call one day and he said, Troy, you're not going to believe this. I lost it all. I mean, I lost. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm going through a divorce. My practice they're taking over. They repossess my cars. I'm like, he said, I'm in a motel literally now in my mom's $1,500 car. And he had like the Escalades and the million dollar house in the mountains. And like, this is like a hard fall. Um, and I'm like, what happened? Like, what, what happened? I said, are you still doing that ULA thing? And, and he said, no, no, I kind of thought I was there. So and he said, I just drifted from it. And I said, go back to that. Go back to what worked to get you there. Go back to the framework and, and be honest with where you are, even though it's ugly right now. Just confront it. Grieve if you need to. Get mad if you have to. But confront where you are. Create a vision because w- what I said in that moment is where you are is simply where you are. This isn't who you are. You're designed by God for something amazing and something great. 
don't get stuck in this moment. This is just a, this isn't you. This is just where you are. And you get a vision for who you are and then tactically map out a plan. So he goes and works his plan. And then he calls me like a little kid, like, dude, it's, it's working. Like I got a minivan. I'm like, it's a bad plan, man. Like you got to dream bigger. Like, <laughs> like, but he's like, no, it's actually, I'm making progress. And he's like, we need to share this framework. We need to find a way to share this because this works. And I'm like, well, okay, what are we going to do? Neither of us, you know, we struggled to write a three page paper in college. Um, neither of us had any social media. I didn't have a Facebook page. I didn't have a Twitter account. I had a hotmail email account. That was my, and a Google search bar. That was the extent of the internet for me. And, but he's like, no, we need to share this. So we just got passionate about sharing this and what it, it blows our mind to this day. You've seen it from, you've seen it because we've crossed paths so many times over the years, but you've seen how it's just the craziest thing that if you love something and you're passionate about it and you throw it out in the universe and see what sticks and every now and then something sticks and, and we feel because the world is hungry for it. Uh, the subtitle of our books is Find Balance in an Unbalanced World. We do statistics at our live events every year in these seven key categories of fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun. And people are driving every day to a job they hate, coming home to a, a spouse they can't stand, looking at a stack of bills they can't pay, and, and wondering why they're not happy. And it's like there is another way, but you have to consciously be willing to confront where you are have a big vision of where you want to go and be willing to sacrifice now and do the work to get there. Show us this book that you guys created uh, on that, in that screened in porch. I'm going to show you this one because I found it here. And this is actually the self published version. We eventually, we actually got a publisher and a multi book deal that, but um, this is literally like you, you pick out the cover and you pay the printer. Um, this is the one that's, we sold, we sold over 100,000 of these out of the back of our 1970 VW surf bus before we ever got a publisher. Um, and this is just us literally grinding city to city event event. We had that old surf bus to 48 states collecting handwritten dreams. And we just talk to people. And sometimes it's paid corporate events. And sometimes it's kids in school. Sometimes it's churches. Sometimes it's someone at a park. Uh, we just shared what we knew. And it out there and to this day to this day we still get messages direct messages from people that say i saw you guys in your surf bus at a gas station in small town kentucky and i just want to say thank you because my marriage is where it needs to be i saw you guys i saw you guys at a coffee shop in florida and i finally paid off all my debt and we don't even i mean this this is what's so cool is that all we do is tell people that you don't have to be where if you're not happy with with where you are there's another way but you have to follow a framework and you have to get moving in that direction. Okay, let's find I, out what it is. So Dave, this is a test. This is a test to see if you're gonna lose it all again. Oh, wow, okay, let's and, do this. And by the way, how do you lose a fireplace? <laughs> oh, you lose everything when the house goes. When they come to take the house, everything in the house they take goes. the fireplace? That's, I don't know how, that's crazy. So here's the test, Dave, because obviously the first time, I don't know, what did you do? Forget? I forgot the seven principles of ULA? Or So my question to you is, and what everybody wants to know is, what are the seven principles of ULA? What's the really, first one, Dave? Yeah, so it's really seven areas of life to balance. And I'll tell you exactly how it happens. We actually sat on that porch where Troy is right now and talked about this a lot. And we call it the drift, because once you get there, you kind of drift and you lose sight of what's important. So the seven key areas of life are fitness. That's the first one, fitness, finance, family, field, which is your career, faith, friends, and fun. Now, we're all drawn to usually two to three of those areas. And there's usually two to three of those areas we don't like. And when we look at my, like the perfect storm that happened for me is that 2007, I built this big, beautiful house in the mountains. I started a big business with $26,000 a month in rent and all that stuff, right? So once everything started to implode, what happened was is I didn't have anything in place to protect it. So in Ula, we talk about a seven months of living expenses all saved. We talk about being debt-free. And at that point, money was cheap. So why not lease cars instead of pay cash? I've always paid cash in my 20s. And all of a sudden, I was buying into this whole thing like, I'm better than I think I am. Like, I can definitely pay for, uh, you know, let's say a, a Suburban, but why not lease an Escalade? 
and that kind of thing was happening to me. So where I found myself was this perfect storm building in 2005, 2006. And in 2007, when everything was crashing, I was way over leveraged in my business, my home, my autos, everything. And I just started losing stuff. And with that, the marriage went and everything. So it's really keeping your finger on the pulse of stuff, staying one of the accelerators in ULA, and there's seven accelerators that you embrace like gratitude, love, passion, humility was the one that I was losing at that moment because I was thinking, I'm a small town kid from North Dakota, farm family, 600 people in my community. And now I'm living in the city and I have a big business and a huge house with a racquetball court in it and the whole thing. And I'm just, I was puffy. It's pretty simple. So the reality was, is I was puffy at that moment and I didn't have a backup plan for if shiz went sideways. I didn't have a backup plan for that. And that's really what started to happen in my life. And we call it the drift. I drifted from the principles. So, you know, if you're, if you're wanting like, man, the doctor says you have to lose 50 pounds, you're going to have a heart problem. You're focused on that goal. You lose that 50 pounds and then you think, okay, it's good. And you go back to your old lifestyle and then you gain that weight back. And that's really what happened to me as I worked my butt off as a young guy to get everything, have this balance. And then I got puffy and I started to, you know, lose that and, and drifted from those principles. And then I found myself quickly at the bottom. And, and people are going through the same thing right now, Richard. I mean, the economy, the economy is changing. No one knows. It's a little, there's a lot of uncertainty. So there's people that don't have seven months of you know, living expenses saved that just got furloughed, or they're going to be running out of unemployment soon, or whatever it is. So there's a lot of changes that are happening right now that remind me of what it was like in 2007, 8, and 9 when I went through the, all the changes in my life. You know, it, uh, what I uh, thought about as I studied ULA was the idea of martial arts that, you know, the first thing you do in martial arts is make sure that you have, that you're grounded, that your feet are integrated into the ground in the kind of stance where you can't easily get pushed over. You have that, the kind of balance that doesn't allow life to catch you off center, off guard. And as, he th as I think about 2007, 2008, and think about 2020, what we all ought to realize that we seem to not learn very quickly this lesson is we have no idea. In fact, it seems like the smartest, wealthiest people in the world have no idea when the world is about to change. Either the economy or a pandemic or a war or some political fiasco or, right? And if you look back at history, Everybody's just going along, everything's wonderful, and then all of a sudden the universe perhaps is saying, oh, you guys are getting a little too froggy down there, a little too big for your britches, a little too puffy. Watch this. <laughs> exactly, and I, I wanna expand on that a little bit because Troy was talking about just the unbalanced world and what we see when we go through stats every year about people that are more overweight or more in debt or marriages that are falling apart, whatever it is. And when you look at consumer debt, and Troy might know the numbers, I'm not sure this is a year ago, but he's good at numbers, but consumer debt, we're way farther, more in consumer debt right now, higher levels of consumer debt than in 2007. So after 2007, 8, 9, there was a huge correction of debt. Like, dude, don't ever go in debt. Save for your future. You never know when stuff's going to go bad. You have to, That lasted about three years. And everybody's like, eh, that's not going to happen again. And now it ramped up. Student loan debt is out of control over a trillion dollars. A lot of people we're running into, two, two, two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt, consumer debt, one credit card, two, three, leasing cars again. It's all happening. So now the world is gonna it's gonna go through corrections. You know, as those corrections happen, you have to be prepared. I wasn't prepared in 2007, 8, 9. I'm very prepared right now to make sure that I protect myself moving forward with debt, et cetera. So um, yeah, you have to be always optimistic and moving forward and dreaming big, but you have to be aware of the downside. Troy's been a great balance for me because I'm this dream big, go crush it. Like, let's go share this with the world. He's like, get a job, get out of your mom's crappy car because it's falling apart, go get a condo, like have a place for your kids that are not all sleeping in one room. You know, so he's, he's good about bringing the reality to it. So it's a great balance between us that way. So Troy, um, you guys in the last couple of years have been preparing for, I don't know if it's stage two or stage three, but definitely to take ULA into the stratosphere. Tell us, tell us what's, what is going on with ULA now around the world? What kind of people are showing up? What kind of impact are you having? And 
what's it look like for the future? Like, how are you taking this invaluable message to the world? It's beyond a book. How else can people access ULA? How else are you impacting people? So I wanna, this is a great question because we, everything in ULA is a seven. There's seven key areas of life. There's seven blockers that get in the way. There's seven accelerators. And we look at a seven year chunk. So our first seven years was us just sharing from our heart and seeing I'm so objective and unemotional about things. I could be passionate about something, but if the marketplace doesn't respond, if it's not giving value to the world, I'm not going to push a rock up a hill. Uh, this thing has momentum of its own. So our whole thing, I spent the first half of my life, I was very business focused, money focused, so I could retire young. I said, I spent the first half of my life making money. I want to spend the last half making a difference. This is a passion project for Dave and I, but we also realize that there, there there's a movement there's a half a million people on our facebook page that's organic there's a million people on social media and we're like how do we what is the value that we provide we've done you know we've done partnership with partnerships with companies and put our 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 trademark and logo on products we've done but we we st- we, st- we went to cabo dave and i like dave and i like step out and and have a cigar and step outside of life and still like vegas to go okay well, this little thing's crazy we have we, we get we get approached every week by someone who wants to partner at some level and do some from as crazy as an ULA hoop to, to this week. It's an app someone presented us. And to, it's always something like someone's always pitching something. And we're like, what is the value in ULA? We know that if you look at this book that we talk about, it's not a book. It's really a framework. It's taking your life and saying, dumping it in this framework and saying, where am I? Is my life balanced? And if not, where am I weak? And then it's saying, what are the blockers that, that prevent me from overcoming um, my current challenges? Is it guilt? Is it laziness? Is it fear? Uh, what are they need the seven months count? And what are the, what are the accelerators I need to move forward quickly and, and, in the direction of my dreams, is it joy? Is it is it humility? Is it gratitude? Is it love? It, what is it? And and then what are the steps I need to take? So we knew that the value is the framework. We saw that in our live events that when we do Ula Palooza, which is our two day live event that we've done every year um, for the last day, biggest changes happen. So Dave, Dave, you guys, you know us personally. Like I'm the very left brain logical. I say no first. I think about it, and then you know, and Dave's like, let's do it. He's been pitching, and on our bus even, people go, I want to be an ULA coach. I want to be an ULA coach. Um, I was pushing back because I, I love this framework, and I don't want someone sharing it wrong and getting different results because if done properly, we know we're going to get results. If someone modifies the framework, they probably won't get results. But we, we Dave was pushing and pushing and pushing, and we, we spent a year developing a curriculum to become certified as an ULA life coach where people can, some people are using it simply to know the principles in depth to share with their family and other people are making a, a epic mega coaching business with these principles. And we pivoted with that about five months ago and we threw it out there. And it, within 60 days, we had coaches in all 50 states that's going through the certification in 12 countries and in four continents. That's how we're spreading ULA. We want ULA everywhere. Our bus, we have this bus that's 26 layers in handwritten dreams. The very first sticker, it was a blue bus in San, in San Diego. The very first sticker was a faith sticker put on there by Dave and I. And what it said is to change the world with a word, hashtag ULA. We know this framework, this single word, which comes from ULA LA, because that's what it feels like when your life is balanced and growing in these seven key areas. We know that if people apply this framework in their life and in their business, they'll have a radical transformation because we've seen it thousands of times all over the globe, different people, different cultures, different ages. The framework works. And we are dedicated specifically to that. Um, all the other stuff now, when those messages come in about an Ula hoop and a blender and an app, we're like, if it doesn't help them, I don't care how, what kind of check is attached to that. If it doesn't help them transform their life, we're not interested. We're going to take a pass. And we're putting all of our focus. We now have the biggest team we've ever had. Uh, we, we have an advisory coach team. We have you know, people helping with content. We have, like, we actually, it was just Dave and I for seven years. And now we've built a small army of, of a team and coaches who are sharing this all over the world. Yeah, that's, um, that's leverage, right? That's two guys built an empire, 502 guys 
uh, can conquer the world. And that's just in 60 days. I mean, well, you, you told me that the other day, how many coaches you already have. That's really, really amazing. People probably want to know, what does it mean to be an ULA coach? Like, if I want to be an ULA coach, what do I do? What do I do to become one? And then after I'm one, what do I, what do, I do besides yeah. have a business card that says ULA coach? Well, I think that's I think that's one of the biggest things we bring to this whole industry is, um, first of all, ULA is for everyone on the planet. Seven billion people could look at ULA and say, how can I be a better father, mother, balance my budget, be better with my health, whatever it is. So ULA is for everybody. And then there, of that group of seven billion, there's a select few people um, in the millions, hundreds of millions that really could use an ULA coach. And you know that someone that could help them start a budget, create a budget, stick to a budget, start to balance their own life. And then there's that even down farther is a group of people who say, hey, ULA's affected my life in a good way. It's positively, or I love, I have the heart for helping other people. I would love to go out and be part of a bigger vision for my life. And that's an ULA coach. And when we decided to do the ULA coaching, I taught, we've been talking about this for years, um, really looking at it. Troy was very committed to saying seven years, Troy and I build a brand, you know, don't really sell out anything or do anything, just us. Don't put any risk of the brand whatsoever with other people. So we spent two years really looking at the life coaching thing. And we looked at the life coaching industry. The industry itself is like completely broken. Like people spend a ton of money for a certificate. They get out there and everybody's like, hey, good luck. Pat them on the back. And they have no clue how to get leads. They don't know how to get results. They don't know how to get paid. They don't know how to help people. They don't know how to change the world. So we said, let's disrupt this whole industry. And we decided to um, really develop this program and certify people to be ULA life coaches. Um, we wanted to disrupt the whole thing. So what it looks like as a coach is um, basically we've disrupted it in many ways of helping people market, helping people get results with what is called the framework, which we're going to talk about and helping people get paid. Because when we were talking to life coaches, they were saying, I paid for my certificate. Now I don't know how to get leads. I don't know how to even get results because I get someone on the phone and they're like, so how was your week? And then there's silence on the phone and they don't know what to do next. So, and they don't know how to get paid from it because they're talking to their friend and say, hey, you want to Venmo me a thousand bucks and we'll see how that works out. It just doesn't work, right? So we went in with a whole disruption of saying, hey, why don't we have online training courses that are co-coached with the ULA guys with great content with you know downloadable worksheets. And then the coach coaches through that framework between the modules. So a client gets module one with a video of Troy and I coaching them with a download, they fill it out send it to their coach, then their coach jumps on a coaching call between module one and module two to coach them to get to module two. And the framework coaches the person, the framework that's been proven around the world, hundreds of thousands of people have gone through this framework with results, that coaches a client, that gets the results. And the coach can lean back and like rely on that framework 80% to do all the work for them. And then as that coach gets more confident in how to coach people and teach people and guide people, it can start to be a 50-50 relationship where we're going to rely on the framework, but I'm going to refine my coaching skills and be better at coaching you through this system. So the results are there. Now, how do you get paid? Well, that's the second problem that coaches were having. And what we did to fix that is we have the courses all housed on um, ULA, on the ULA website. So people buy the course from ULA. So if you're talking to your friend and your friend's like, man, I need some life coaching, instead of Venmo me $1,000, it's like, go to this website, buy the 10-week course. It's incredible. The framework has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. It's going to change your life. And as, as a coach, I will personally guide you through it. So the exchange of money is between ULA and the client. And then as a the coach is starting to guide them through, the coach earns an 80% commission. So they buy the programs from ULA, but then the, the coach actually gets an 80% commission to guide that person through. So now there's a way to get paid. And then at the end of the 10-week program, too, what Troy and I are doing in our videos in module like 7, 8, 9, and 10 is we're saying, hey, now you're on module 8. You've been working with your coach for eight weeks. Now talk to your coach about their accountability program. Talk to your coach about their ongoing group coaching program. So we actually start to turn that client into someone who's going to use coaching because we know coaching helps on an ongoing basis for a long-term client, like a wellness patient or a wellness client. They're going to use that. So get results, get paid. And then what we do is we have what's called getting leads and we have ongoing training for sales training. We have ongoing training for um, what are called our monthly resources where we have an amazing person, uh, multiple New York Times bestselling author that creates all the content for all of our coaches for their whole marketing plan. So before the month starts, they download a full marketing plan with graphics, content creation, 
how to do a 30 minute call, how to get people to do a 30 minute call, online workshops, whatever it is on how to get those leads into your organization, get them on the phone, talk to them about coaching. If they're a great fit, bring them to that 10 week program and saying, I think you're a great fit. Go buy that 10 week program. We'll work you through it and uh, coach you on the back end and then getting paid from Moola and also from their clients. So it's a completely unique system. We haven't seen anything like it out there that has this co-coaching model, this framework. And um, our coaches are finding it amazing and they're being very successful at it. And we're getting a lot of people who have spent tens of thousands of dollars becoming a coach, now jumping over to our program, uh, which is way more affordable and saying, I've gotten so much out. Now I know how to finally coach people because I can coach them through the framework. Yep. Uh, so, so that's what it's about. Richard, you'll appreciate that it's duplicatable. I mean, that's what we wanted. We wanted, so what we found, what we found is there were so many people who, what makes a good coach in our mind, what makes a good coach is a heart for helping other people and a deep passion and desire to make a difference in the world. You know, someone just wants to make a quick buck. They're probably not a good fit for Ula. But what we found in our community of people is there is a lot of people that this framework changed their life. They're eager to share it with other people and they have a, they have a calling to do that. They just don't know how. So like what Dave's talking is we do the heavy lifting and the video training, but they've also, before all this, they've gone through a 23 module training to get certified. So they've already got the knowledge base, but even in between these modules, they have a little cheat sheet that they can study that says, hey, this is what was talked about in module one. These are some great questions to ask. This is what we're going to talk about in module two. These are good leading questions to ask. These are some challenges in between. So it really makes, it's perfect for that person who has a heart for helping other people. They want it. They know that they want to be a life coach. They want to help people. They want to grow their business. They want to have an influence in the world, um, but they really don't know how. And it's made it, it's made it so nice. It's so easy to follow and get results because what Dave's talking about is free form coaching. That's just broken. There's a few talented yeah. people that can put, there's a few talented people that can pull that off, but most people are just kind of winging it and they're lost and they don't get results. People feel good in their time in their call with the coach. They're jacked up, but they really don't see results because there's not someone holding them accountability, accountable to a bigger plan and a bigger vision for their life. The framework shifts that out. It says, hey, their client has gone through this thing that, that just bubbles to the surface, their values and what's important in these areas, and they know how to keep them accountable to that. It's been, it's been remarkable. Um, to see this because I was the guy who was naysaying it instantly because I, I was worried about how it would affect the, I know it, ULA works and I didn't know if we could make it simple enough for other people to get the same results we get. The beautiful thing about it is, is the, the model of coaching where the coach is like this authority is gone. Our coaches are simply people through this framework. They're not saying I'm the authority. I know every financial answer. I know every nutritional answer. I know every relational answer. I, I'm a, I'm a theologist. I, I can like, I can answer everything about faith. No, they're saying, Hey, but what I am an expert in is this framework that gets results. And I can say, Hey, maybe you need to see an accountant. Maybe you would, it'd be beneficial to get a personal trainer. Maybe it would, uh, it's just a guide who guides people to their ULA life. Yeah. Guide is the word that came up for me. And in the, in the hero's journey, that's what the hero's looking for. That's what people are looking for. They're not looking for a guru. They're not looking for somebody to dominate them and manipulate them. And people are looking for a guide, somebody that'll walk with them, somebody that's been down the path before. And your, your framework is just brilliant. I mean, the whole profession of life coaching, unfortunately, is kind of seen as a joke today because so many people have signed up for it declared themselves a life coach but they really don't know what they're doing and they may have the heart for it but they don't have the framework for it and you guys have created a brilliant system that i can see scaling worldwide and scaling fast because uh you're not going to move away from the framework of the seven principles of ula that's all just sort of baked in to the system Brilliant. it hasn't changed it hasn't changed i mean our hats get redesigned t-shirts get redesigned products the, the framework from from way before ula the first book was published in 2012 we were meeting in vegas in the mid 90s this hasn't changed so the framework is the is the secret sauce 
So everything else, if you see ULA and you see tea or you see essential oils or you see a hat, or you, that's just people excited about ULA and they're so excited they're gonna, they want to buy something with ULA on it. But what has been the thing that has got all that attention is the results of the framework yield. And the framework has not, if we've gotten better over our three books, we've gotten better at teaching it and refining it and making it easier to follow and implement. But the base core principle of seven key areas, seven blockers, seven accelerators, three simple steps, that, that's been unchanged from day one. Yeah, beautiful system. Congratulations, guys. I love a success story, an authentic success story that's creative that's different, that disrupts, and can scale. And well, if, if you're a fan of, if you're a, if you're a fan, Richard, of success stories, let's book a call in seven years. Because by that time, with an <laughs> with an army with an army of ULA coaches um, around the world, this thing that is really our goal. Our goal is to hop off a plane on any continent and say, "How's your ULA?" and Seven out of ten people go. Hey, I need some time with my family, or I got to get my money under control, or I, I got to get a new job because because that's that's when we will feel like we've succeeded that we have that level of penetration in in the marketplace as far as this, this consciousness. I wake up every day going, how can I be better and do better in these seven key areas? What are some small action steps I can take to be a better husband, a better father, work on my health, have some more fun. Um, pursue my faith. Like this, this guides me every single day. And we know by Dave's story <laughs> that, that if you drift from this, it's not something you read a book and go, Hey, all right, I'll try this this year for 2000. No, it's just, it's a way of life. It's a lifestyle. And that's why we're confident that if we can, it, it, it gets on the brain, you know, you hear it and you, you read the book. It's hard to get it out of your head because people know that they're designed for more than they're living right now. They're settling right now because of fear. They're settling right now because of geography or they're settling right now because of circumstances. But deep down, most people are feeling pulled to something greater than their current, their current existence. And we're saying, let's go. Let's go do that because a better you makes a better family and a better community and a better world. People who are actively pursuing their purpose and their goals and their dreams, you've seen it, Richard, on this podcast, people who are, they're, they're on fire. I mean, it's like they're, they're just literally lit with passion and that's contagious. And that's what our world needs right now. Yeah. Wow. What a beautiful vision. And I better book the podcast seven years from now because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to be on a long waiting list. I won't even be able to get through the layers of people. They go, who? Brooke? Who? No, oh, you're no, fine. Guys, Troy, you Troy, doesn't work. Troy doesn't work that much. You're fine. He's not going to be booked that far out. You're good. <laughs> he, he'll remember you. He's only he only does one of these a year. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I totally totally believe in you guys. I believe in your vision. Uh, I would bet. I'd place a big bet that you're going to manifest that all the way because it just it all feels right. And people are hurting. People are afraid. People are not balanced. They're not grounded. They're not centered. They're frantic. They're treading water. Of course, that's not everybody, but it's enough people that this is so needed. And there's something special about that word, Ula. I can just see it, Troy. I, I can hear it in your vision. You, you get off a plane in Africa or Brazil or you know, somewhere in the world, and you just ask people, how's your Ula? And they know what you're talking about. How could that possibly be? Well, build a better mousetrap, right? And the people will beat a path to your door. And... You guys have built a better transformational, peaceful mousetrap. Deep, deep respect and congratulations. Tell everybody one more time, where is the best place to find you? Is it ulalife.com? What's the yeah, Facebook group? I'd go to ulalife.com. I'd go to ulalife.com slash coaching if you're interested in being a coach. Um, Ula, Ula Life on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We have a great group for people that are just aspiring to be an Ula coach. That's just if they just search in Facebook, aspiring Ula coach, they'll find it. Um, and that's a group where we go in every week and we're educating and training on what it would be like to be a coach and if they're interested. And it's almost like, like an incubator. We're building people and building up their self esteem and self worth and their uh, business abilities, et cetera, to do that if they want it full time. And then once they become a certified Ula Life coach, then they go to the certified group. That's a private group where we go 
deep, deep, deep in personal and professional development and training. So yeah, Ula Life, everything. I'm Ula Seeker on everything. Dr. Troy's Ula Guru on everything, but Ula Life is the main site. You're Ula Seeker, Seeker and he's Ula Guru? Yep. I, I love you it. Can tell, you can tell by the tan, man. <laughs> you can well, tell he stayed, on the beach. He stayed true to life. You know, that was his vision from the time he was 11 years old. So I love it. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for uh, taking a break in your life and your business and your process and dropping in with me. And those of you that are listening, share this podcast. Obviously, just share it. Share it in your social media. Share it in your network. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Get the book. Drop in to Ula and get grounded and get balanced. And magnificent things will happen for you. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time.